Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. We are going to go through and clean out the fridge, the freezers, the pantry, and prepper pantry. It's already been another month. This year is already going by so fast. I like to do these once a month, film them for you guys where I go through, kind of clean out, reorganize, check my stock. So that's what we're doing in today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I have on PJs. No shame in my game. I'm keeping my PJs on today. And I did film the pantry portion a couple days ago, but I'm just gonna add it into this video. I didn't feel like doing it all in one day, but in that footage, I also had on PJs. <laughs> so I hope this gives you some motivation to get out of the bed, keep your PJs on, but clean, clean your stuff. As long as it gets done, that's all that matters. Rocking the PJs today, let's go. It's not too, too bad. Just wanna go through, clean off the shelves if needed and kinda of organize, make sure. Um, I do have some leftovers in here that I need to throw out. We've ate on them a couple days. Um, we're just tired of them at this point. <laughs> we ate on them as much as we could. Now it's time to get rid of the rest. So just gonna kinda of go through and reorganize. Let's get it done. I'm buzzing, let's drink up. You does look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. Like that, I'm fin gay, so I'm something. You love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young, and so are we. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young, and so are we. wasn't too bad not bad at all I guess I've just been keeping it clean this past month <laughs> now for the freezer let's see if we can figure out some organization on this I finally got one of my inventory sheets printed off. So I just took um, this side I do for freezer up here and then this that I do for deep freeze because there's more lines on this side and we always have more stuff in the deep freeze. So for this time, I, I just wrote down the meat and normally I do it in a pencil so I'm able to erase it, but I can't find a pencil. Y'all know. Uh, <laughs> so I've got um, four meals. I put M beside if it's a meal. Um, or if it's just like per thing. Um, so I've got four meals of ground beef. We've got three ribeyes in general. So that's going to be one meal. Um, but I put three and they're thin. And Luke said that those are more going to be like for shaved to do like sandwiches or something on the Blackstone. We have one roast left in there. Uh, we have got two lonely chicken breasts. We have one meal of chicken drums, one meal of chicken thighs, one meal of chicken tenders, and then I have a buffalo style shaved chicken. I've only got one pack of that in there. That's not enough to do one meal. That's more like a lunch or with a little leftovers or do like buffalo chicken dip. That's what I did with the other one and it was delicious. So I'll probably keep that in there to do buffalo chicken dip again. We've got the pack of shrimp. We have one pack of tilapia. We have three pork loins in there, and then we have enough hot dogs to do one meal. So, and that's not all. I just wrote down the meat this time, so that way I can kind of keep track of it a little better. Yes, I can see everything I see up here every single day, but sometimes I still, you know, it's just easier to see it written down. So, we do have some cheese I put down there at the bottom. This is where all my veggies are. I have a bunch of different frozen veggies. We've got meats, frozen pasta, biscuits, Cool whip um, we got more meats here and then some hash browns there's some frozen meatballs chicken nuggets those pancake bites ice cream and butter so 
that's everything for the deep or for the regular freezer now let's head downstairs and we will do the deep freeze so if you watched last month's video where i did this it's super dark and dingy down here and the um heat and ac unit is down here so it's loud so i really hope you guys can hear me but i'm just going to kind of go through here write everything down um i pretty much know what's in here i just want to write it down um, just to keep track of it so I don't have to come down here every single time. I can just look at my paper upstairs and see what we got. We did have a scare um, a couple weeks ago. Um, we, I came down here. To, I check on it every few days just because I am nervous in case something happens to it. Well, when I came and checked on it, it, was, um, it wasn't as built up on the sides as it normally is. Stuff was starting to thaw out, but it was still frozen. Like... If I had a gave it another day, it would, everything would have been thawed out. Um, we were able to save the stuff that was at the top, um, but everything else at the bottom was still frozen. So we got lucky, but we did have a scare, so we were worried, but we switched the switch. We put it from the top to the bottom, and it's been fine ever since. So I don't know what the deal was, but um, I've been coming and checking on it like every other day because I'm scared it's going to go out again. <laughs> My overall goal is to get a second one. I want to get one of the stand up ones. Um, I want to just get some more, you know, where we can get some more stock, but y'all know how much those are. So I'm just kind of, we're slowly saving for one. Hopefully we can get one soon. They do have a nice one at Sam's Club that's $2.99 um, and it is a stand up right one. So maybe we'll work on getting that one in the future. But right now, this one's still kicking. <laughs> but let me set you up and I'll write all this stuff down and I'll come back. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Okay, I got everything organized, ready to go. I pulled a bunch to take upstairs to put in the freezer upstairs. I filled my sheet out and got everything. I did have to throw a couple things away, unfortunately, that were freezer burnt, and it was just past me even being able to save. Um, but now I can stock up, which I wanted to. Um, I wanted to do a meat stock up soon, so that gives me enough room to do that. So, yay. So, let's take and put all of this stuff upstairs. Um, cheese, ground beef, some bagels, pack of chicken, some butter. Take this upstairs. And now I know what, what it, I now I know what's in my deep freeze. It is that time again. We are going to get all this stuff organized. I have been to Sam's Club. I have um, had different grocery trips to Rulers and Walmart. So we're just going to get everything this put away. I will have any grocery hauls that I've already shared in the description box below. But let's get all this organized. So it's like a gloomy day so i have my big light out that's why the lighting's not the best but and you can see the box light right there <laughs> but if you are new here y'all know this room is my office slash stock up um, room prepper pantry room um so i moved over some of the things that i had up here on the top shelf i moved it over here just to kind of put it all together with like my cleaning supplies and this is the stuff i moved over i moved over the plates bowls cutlery um like baggies and foil and all that i moved that stuff over there and then i restocked 
put the other stuff. Um, the way that with our living situation right now, some stuff's here, some stuff is downstairs. It, I really don't have a an actual organization routine thingy that I, you know, I do. I, it's just crap's kind of everywhere. But I keep like vinegar, laundry soap. Um, we've got the cut, cutlery cleaning my um, shark vac pads and solution, disinfectant wipes. This is more like my overflow stuff. I do keep some, like one of each underneath the sink or um, uh, um, as, as of cleaning wise, I keep it underneath the sink and whatnot. But this is kind of like my overflow extra stock of everything. Um, I put up my soaps. This is like extra stock on shampoo, soaps, body washes, conditioners, um, medical supplies, you know, kind of stuff like that. So that's kind of what's all in here. This is where it's at for now. This isn't where it's going to stay forever, but we got to work with what we got right now, you know, with the living conditions. Uh, so that, that's how that is for now. And I just kind of reorganized this. I didn't, I didn't need it too bad. I didn't, um, you know, I haven't done it too long ago. Just put everything up that was on the floor and everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a disclaimer because I get this every single time. These curtains do not stay open. I only have them open to film. Just like I only have this box light on to film. It is dark as crap in here <laughs> when the blinds are closed when the curtains are closed here i'll show you i get so many rude comments about it being so bright in here and that it's gonna ruin my food so here i'm gonna show you hold on winston here's where i turn the box light off this is what it looks like 80 percent of the time only time the curtains are open or only time the light is on, it's when I'm in here filming for you guys. That's it. I promise. <laughs> I'm not going to have direct sunlight on my food. I know how to, I've done research. I know how to do it. I've been doing this for two years. No, I'm not perfectionist. I'm not perfect. It's a learning experience. But I'm not, mm hmm I know better. <laughs> so, yeah. Turn that back on. Open my curtains back up. Uh, if you did not watch my grocery hauls, new items that I picked up. I picked up some more taco seasonings. I picked up some more dressing. Uh, I picked up some spray from Sam's. Big thing of rice from Sam's. I need to divide that up and get that put up. We got some more emergency meals. We got um, bacon. We got some tomato products. Um, more canned veggies. I told you I wanted to get 12 count, a 12 flat of every veggie that we eat. Um, so I'm working on getting those. Y'all know that this is growing. It's a growing process. I don't go out, break my, break my budget and clear the shelves. I do this over time. I buy a little bit each month, each week. For our stock up so that's how it, that's how you do it um, my five dollar stock up challenge sheets are always in the description box for that link that is my number one uh, seller on my Etsy shop everybody seems to really enjoy those um, I kind of broke down a couple weeks ago or about a month ago actually I broke down how to grow a prepper pantry from the beginning with nothing I'll have that video linked down below for you guys. So you can have this. I, I go through and share with you from the beginning and how you can have this over a year span. So that's everything. I just wanted to get everything up off the floor and get all of that put up and all that put up. So that's it. Now to the regular pantry. Now it is time to clean up the pantry. It wasn't too bad, but there was a few things out of place and I needed to restock the snack bins. Oh,
Looks so much better. I was able to get some stuff organized, rotate some of our snacks, rotated, pulled some stuff from the pepper pantry, rotated it, and it looks a thousand times better. I uh, found some pepperonis, which I didn't know we had. They were in the back, in the back, which this is one reason why I always try to at least clean out my pantry like once a month, like get in here and move stuff around, really know what I have so I can see because I had no clue I had pepperonis. Um, went through our snack bins. We got Pringles, popcorn, goldfish, got donuts these are really good i picked these at sam picked these up at sam's club the last time we went they're really good there's blueberry and classic glazed got other cookies and this is kind of like cereal bars gummies granola bars um you know kind of just random stuff like that candy but everything else looks good good to go now it's time to take out the trash and that is it guys we got it all finished got everything all nice and clean and organized now i know what i have in my freezers because i've got my freezer inventory sheet don't forget that i have that link in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys